Would you like to know my thoughts on CGI Animation Studio Pixar? I think that they are absolutely wonderful. I would go as far to say that they are the best modern animation studio in the world today. I love every single one of their movies. Yes, that even includes Cars. I enjoyed my time watching it. Is it their finest movie? Nope. But they make such good movies that even when they aren't close to firing in all cylinders, I still find their stuff entertaining. But what about Cars 2? You must have hated that movie. I never saw that movie due to the reviews I read for it in print, listened to on the radio, or that I watched on the internet. Us just being really, like, cynical moviegoers, this is not getting good reviews. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's not, and there, there's a reason for that. <laughs> So, I mean, there's there's plenty of Pixar movies I like. Oh, yeah, there's there's a lot of them. Yeah. Pixar fans make usually, good movies. Exactly. It, it, it. I would rather normally see a Pixar movie yeah. than I would any of yeah. this other bullshit that's been coming out. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. But I still rather is terrible. See, I mean, I still rather see this than fucking Green Lantern. But still, <laughs> that's like choosing to have my you know eyes gouged out or my teeth pulled one at a time. <laughs> Granted. The review for Cars 2 were not as venomous or hilarious as this guy's review of the movie, but they were negative nonetheless, so I gave this movie a wide berth. And for no reason, here's White Knight and Death Wolf. Great, now that I've finished filming this episode, I can go drink the blood of kittens. Is this thing still on? Bastard. Too lazy to give me a decent segue. Fucker. So we'll maybe choose the movie up. I didn't. This is chosen by Mikey. So if there are any fact errors or you don't think this is good, then you can blame him. Even though I picked this movie because it is the closest Pixar movie on my shelf, I still like this movie for numerous reasons, and this moment is one of them. This is a great opening for a number of reasons. Firstly, as any fan of the cinema will know, trying to fit exposition in a natural way is not an easy task, but Up does a brilliant job at it, and also tells a better love story in four minutes than Twilight did in four books. There are so many little heartbreak touches that makes it a pretty difficult to, to watch. Then the tone changes to a jolly and upbeat one in the next 20 minutes. I'm sorry movie, but you just hit your audience with such a gut-wrenching montage, then you expect us to giggle and laugh? He made me this color so that I may talk, squirrel! Ah well, just be nitpicky. Movie released a year before Up came out was Gran Torino. Both these films have similarities, and I can see why. A point brilliantly illustrated by the smash up trailer type thingy. Put together by YouTuber Dan Fish 24. <laughs> Come here, girl. Stop! Let go! What you looking at, old man? Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with? That's me. Grand Trio might have that gravelly voiced all around badass motherfucker Clint Eastwood, but did that movie have a talking dog? No. That's why Up is the better movie. In fact, every movie in history could be improved with a talking dog. Except for Karate Dog. Okay, I'm gonna talk now. Whatever you do, try to remain calm. Ah! I was hoping for a little- I could talk more about this film, but you all know it's great, so go watch it. Yeah, go. Until next time, I'm quite nice. Hey, good looking, why the frown? You always look better when it's upside down. You say you got no you go into can I go nowhere with you? <laughs> nice. Very first crossover. This is gonna be sweet. Let's see. Uh, uh, completed by white fuck you, white knight. Damn it. I'm still looking forward to this as well. Damn. Oh wait. Could probably get some of that kitten's blood if I hurry. <laughs>